Hello everyone. So today I'm making a video on Confluence. Yes, I know I don't really make a lot of videos on Confluence. Confluence is fine. It is uh, a nice tool, but I'll I'll admit it is not really one of my favorite. But it works. It works nicely with the Jira. Anyway, so a simple thing that I want to talk about today. Let us say you have a Confluence page, a big page. Now, when you have a big page, uh, then it can be a big, a bit program problematic when it comes to scrolling all the way to the very bottom of the page and uh, this is something that i encounter quite a lot where people want to create some kind of anchor links and to be honest i'm saying it anchor links because i know what anchor is i ho i hope uh, or maybe i may maybe I'm, I'm i'm assuming that you also might know what what an anchor is if you have some HTML background. But basically, the idea here is that if you have a big page and you want people to reach a certain section of the page directly by simply clicking on a, on a link. Uh, for example, I have this link here called to start so on top. And by, by the way, when you create like a big document in uh, Confluence with a table of content macro, it will basically take care of this for you. But you can also do it manually. So if I click on to start, it will take me directly to to start section here, right? So let, let, let us go back to the uh, document and let, let us do a few things. So this is my bullet number one. This is my bullet number two. And uh, this is my bullet number three, right? So I have these, uh, I have these three bullets. And what I can do is I maybe I can, uh, I'll, I'll show you everything how it works. So let us say this is your, uh, come on, come on. This, that is why I don't like it. Uh, it's probably an, probably an excuse, but I'm trying to reduce. Uh, come on. Okay. I'll just write bullet one. I'll change it to. Come on. It's such a pain, right? Uh, now you know why I don't like. Come on. I'm trying to like re remove the <laughs> bullet, but it is not working anyway. So let us say this is the, uh, this is the first, um, first header and uh, similarly let me just copy everything and i'll just go to the very bottom i mean confluence is fine but it is not a uh, like super user friendly tool to be honest when it comes to editing i mean i'm, I'm purely talking about the editing part so this is bullet two this is a uh, bullet one and oh sorry bullet uh, this is bullet two if i scroll down this is bullet uh, number three and uh, let us go back on top and this is bullet number one so basically what you can do just highlight this oh sorry come on just highlight this press control not press control huh, we are not on data center press this uh, option on top and uh, you can actually insert a macro don't select it uh, like move your cursor on top or like in front of it you can also press this uh, forward slash and then type in here uh, anchor and if you select here anchor it will basically insert something and just give this anchor a name like in this case it is bullet one press enter if you want to otherwise it will save anyways this is my bullet number two anchor this is my bullet number two and uh, let us go to the third one which is this one you can either press this forward slash or you can also click on this uh, plus like uh, plus option on top on data center is data center it is like curly braces um okay so what i was doing i was trying to insert this anchor and uh, bullet number three perfect so we have these three anchors and all we need to do we just need to remember the name and and use hyphen like don't use any space for uh, clarity press control k and then simply type in here hash bullet one and uh, did, was there any hyphen in between i think there was a there was a hyphen yes there was there was this hyphen here let me just do it again control k oh, okay bullet two control k hash remember the hash bullet hyphen two and then three control k hash bullet hyphen three and that is it really and if you click on the save or uh, publish not save publish so if you click on bullet one we are basically 
taken to this bullet one. If you press or click on this bullet two, hopefully you are, you are at bullet two. And if you click on bullet three, we are now taken directly to bullet three. So you don't have to use the table of content. You can also do it manually because we can. Anyways, that is it. I know simple short video, but hopefully I've given you some ideas and uh, I hope you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.